Hello, I'm Bernie Hayes. Today we'll be talking to a candidate for the Sheriff of the City of St. Louis, Joy Denise Dabney, today on The Bernie Hayes Show. I'm Bernie Hayes. My guest is Joy Denise Dabney, a candidate for the sheriff's position in the city of St. Louis. Ms. Dabney, welcome. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, you, you want to be the sheriff of the city of St. Louis? Yes, sir. Tell us why. I've always had a passion for justice and equality and helping others. I have overcome so many obstacles in my personal life. And uh, I, I have been uh, affected firsthand by many injustices. Um, one uh, being my uh, baby brother passed away in 2019. He was a victim of illegal organ harvesting. His kidney was taken out of his body while he was living. And um, he was returned uh, back into, returned home, back home with me. Uh, he passed away a few months later, and I received a call from the coroner's office and a detective asking me why my brother's kidney had been removed from his body surgically. Mm -hmm. You had no idea that it had been? No, sir. He mm -hmm. suffered from, we were four years apart, he suffered from autism. Mm -hmm. He was uh, verbally incapacitated mm -hmm. and um, would have, could not have given authorization for any such surgery, and I obviously hadn't given Sure. Any authorization for that. And, and myself and my grandmother at the time were his legal guardians. Okay. So this pursued you on a journey to become the sheriff of City of St. Louis? This caused me to transfer my energy to something positive okay. because uh, I, I, that the anger that I felt, um, the hurt, confusion, um, it was not investigated. Um, I contacted, you know, several higher entities, FBI, uh, police, no, no one did, no one wanted to do anything about it. And so um, I said, okay, well, it's time for me to step out and um, make awareness of this because my brother, this is not the only, he's not the only person that this has happened to. This is something that is going on across the world, not just locally, across the world. As a sheriff of the city of St. Louis, what, are you, what is your vision? The first goal I have is to implement community resource programs. You know, that's, that's the question that I'm always asked. What is the first thing you're going to do when you get into office? Focus on my community because the community has been neglected. And that shows with all of the challenges, challenges that they, they endure. You know, we've got homelessness, substance abuse, crime, mental health issues. The community is being affected, and it's time that we have someone who is placed in the office that focuses on the community, not focusing on funds or personal vendettas against each other, but putting their focus on the community. Okay. I notice uh, on your credentials it says that Joy Denise Dabney, experienced manager. Tell us about that. 17 years of management experience. I have been in every, every management position from restaurant uh, <laughs> to property manager. Okay. And uh, which property management I enjoy greatly. Okay. Christian faith. Tell us about your Christian faith. Born and raised under the Pentecostal faith. Uh, my uh, uncle is a bishop um, in Illinois. Uh, my grandmother uh, is an evangelist. Um, I am actually uh, a minister as well. Um, I just, I, I love God. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's just that simple. So are you a reverend? Are you, uh, are you a day minister? Yes. Oh, wonderful. Well, in, the, in the Pentecostal church? I'm not a denomination. Okay, I'm a denomination. Currently, but okay, was wonderful. raised under okay. Pentecostal faith. This is charity volunteer. Tell us about that. I have volunteered with the uh, Urban League. Okay and uh, Community Women for Hardship. Mm -hmm. And I actually have a non-for-profit organization, Afasa Ministries, that I started um, in honor of my brother. 
Mm -hmm. And so I have um, reached out uh, into the community uh, offering all services. Um, the name of the organization is Arthur's Fight Against Autism mm -hmm. and Seven Afflictions. Okay. And so um, I help everyone that's afflicted. You know, there are a lot of non-for-profit organizations that are geared towards, uh, you know, just maybe one position of, of assistance, but we help all that are afflicted. Mm -hmm. In you know, the Urban League affiliation, community women with hardship, uh, you just lost your, your leader recently. Uh, she was a very dear friend of mine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's so much you can do. A community advocate, what does that mean? A voice. Mm -hmm. I'm a voice. Okay. That is another reason that I decided to pursue running for the Sheriff's Department. Mm -hmm. I want to be in a position where I can be a beacon of light for change and, and I can be a voice where I'm actually heard. Mm -hmm. I will continue to advocate for my community as I've done in the past. As a woman, as a female, do you, do you feel discrimination in your gender, discrimination at all? Oh, absolutely. Tell us about I, that. I have actually had uh, several males <laughs> approach mm -hmm. me and say, well, you can never be the sheriff. Mm -hmm. You're a woman. I wouldn't vote for you. <laughs> Tell us about it. I mean, how does it make you feel, and what do you what do you say to them? You know what? Uh, it it's not discouraging. It, it it actually it empowers me. It makes me feel okay. Well, I'm going to show you <laughs> just what this little 92 pound frame, small frame woman can do. Okay, so you are an advocate <laughs> for community change. Yes, sir. Yes, and you sir. in in NAACP? You yes, remember? Sir. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, he's a very good friend of ours, too, you know. Are you in the city or the county? I am actually from the St. Charles chapter. St. Charles chapter? Yes, sir. Okay, wonderful. So you, well, okay. And the CPR certified. Yes, sir. Tell us about it. I uh, went to get my CPR uh, certification uh, following uh, my brother's passing. Okay. I felt... Um, like I said, there was just, there were so many different emotions that I experienced in losing sure. my brother. Um, I, you know, I blamed myself, felt I could have done more. And, um, you know, I, I had to realize that, you know, um, that it was not my, my, you know, my, my fault what happened. Okay. Um, but I just felt like, you know, I wanted to be able to save someone's life um, if issues were like this were to arise. So you qualify. I, well, Joy Denise Dabney is our guest. She's a candidate for the sheriff of the city of St. Louis. And we're at the New Life Evangelistic Center. We're at 2428 Woodson Road in Oakland, Missouri. And Reverend Larry Rice, for more than 50 years, 52 years, have been providing services for those in need. I'm Bernie Hayes, and I'll be right back with Joy Dabney after this. Hey, viewers of the Bernie Hayes Show. Have you ever seen so many people as you travel around the streets of St. Louis City, St. Louis County, over in Illinois, Jefferson County, St. Charles County? that are homeless, so many out on street corners, so many people are having to sleep outside in vacant buildings. The New Life Evangelistic Center's got teams going out every day, working among those individuals, taking them hundreds of bottles of water every week, hundreds and hundreds of sandwiches. And now as winter comes upon us, we're having to get blankets and sleeping bags and tents, long underwear, even making little canned heaters. Uh, just so many, many needs. And that's why your involvement in New Life Evangelistic Center is so very important. We could, You could be a volunteer and go out on the streets with us. Call us at 314-421-3020. During this holiday season, you could actually help make these can heaters. We'll show you how to do it. Where you get a gallon can and put some sand in it. And then you put a smaller soup can in there and a candle in the middle of that and a quart can over that. I mean, just a lot of creative things New Life Evangelistic Center is doing. That's why I really want to encourage you to go to our our uh, website at nlecstl.org to learn about them there. Feel free to call us at 314-421-3020. Please remember the work of New Life Evangelistic Center in your prayers. And please share that much-needed gift. New Life receives no city, state, or federal dollars. And your giving is so very, very important. And it goes so far in New Life Evangelistic Center. We have a dedicated team of volunteers and trainees that take every dollar that you send in and provide $3 worth of direct services helping the poor and the homeless, the fatherless, the widowed, Please get your business involved, your church involved, and send those gifts to New Life Evangelistic Center, P.O. Box 473, St. Louis, Missouri, that's 63166, 
or you can give online at nlecstl.org. We need your partnership at this particular time. Our teams are going out daily among the poorest to the poor, and we need your help now as we move in these winter months. Your gifts, your prayers are absolutely essential at this moment. Hey, welcome back. I'm Bernie Hayes. My guest is Joy Denise Stabney, and she's the candidate for the mayor. I'm sorry, for the sheriff of the city of St. Louis. Perhaps one day the mayor. <laughs> maybe if she gets this right, maybe to become the mayor of the city of St. Louis. But anyway, she's running for the sheriff office today, and uh, we want to talk more about it. Uh, Joy, Ms. Dabney, you're a psychology major. Yes, sir. Tell us about that. I attend uh, St. Charles Community College mm -hmm. uh, for psychology. Uh, again, uh, my passion of helping others, um, I felt that uh, I needed to be able to um, dive into the minds mm -hmm. of, of individuals. And uh, I feel that it's, you know, uh, empathy is mm -hmm. sometimes more important than sympathy. Oh, wow. So. I felt that that was definitely a, a great place to start. Um, my goals uh, are to, uh, from, from uh, psychology, to pursue a bachelor's degree uh, and uh, social work, and then to go on to law school. That's profound. If I am to be so blessed to do so, and God allows. Well, also your founder and director of a non-profit, tell us what that's about. Yes, sir, so that is a, a FASA Ministries. That is the non for profit that I started um, after my little brother passed away. Mm. Um, fighting against afflictions, fighting for life. You know. Was there an epiphany after your brother died, or were you always this conscious uh, about religion and so forth, your, your savior? You know what? Uh, again, born and raised, mm -hmm. um, I, I've, I've always had a connection with God. Okay. You know, uh, there's been times that I've, 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 I've walked away or, you know, uh, backslid, as, you know, as my grandmother would mm -hmm. say, but I never forgot, you know, I, 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 never, I always remembered, always knew that God was still with me. So I always knew where to, you know, how to go back, how to mm -hmm. get back. Okay. And um, Losing my brother, as I said, I, there, oh, there were so many emotions, just anger and hurt. And I, I, I had, again, I had to take that, that energy and, and focus it on something positive. And, I, you know, I, I was even mad at God. I was. Mm -hmm. Because I felt like, you know, again, blaming myself, blaming him, you know. And I, I had to realize you know, that, uh, yeah, it, you know, I... I, I still don't understand, honestly. I, sure. I, I, I'm still struggling with, with that. Um, but uh, what, 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 with my non-for-profit, I feel that I can prevent this from happening. I can bring awareness um, to the fact that this is going on, and I can also assist people uh, that w with all afflictions, you know, um, my uh, baby brother and I both uh, suffer from abuse, abandonment. Uh, you know, he su suffered from autism. Mm -hmm. You know, um, something that uh, I have suffered with in the past. And, you know, and I, I said this at my forum. And, you know, uh, I have a lot of people that say, you know, oh, Joy, why are you telling people that you, you, you shouldn't tell the community? But I've suffered from autism, uh, I've suffered from um, anxiety and depression. Okay. So how can we reach you and take more information about you and also even support you? How can we do that? Well, uh, you can contact me directly. Uh, uh, what numbers? 314-379-7887. Three, three, you know, people can't write, write that fast. Can you <laughs> slow it down just a little bit for us, please? 314-379-7887. Three, three, okay. And do you have a website or anything? You can visit lpmo.org. LPMO.org. And find out more information about me under the candidates page. Okay. What would you do to change the way the office of the sheriff is run? Or, or would you make any changes? The issues, I feel, are simply that the systems, that every, it's so, too, too much segregation. Uh, I don't feel that anyone's working together. You know, I'm only one woman. 
I can't do it all alone, you know. I can't uh, eradicate all of the issues overnight. But, you know, again, everyone working together and coming to a common ground, I, I, I think would definitely assist in the improvements. Mm -hmm. What do you want us to know about Joy Denise Dabney? That I'm, I, I don't consider myself a politician. I consider myself, I, I'm just a, a, a concerned citizen. I don't believe, you know, there's, there's, there's a stigma around uh, politicians that, you know, politicians tend to be dishonest. And um, I'm very transparent. Um, integrity is very important to me, you know, which is why I'm an open book. You know, I don't mind saying, look, I've suffered from depression, anxiety, uh, I've been broken, I've had so many challenge challenges that I have endured, obstacles that I have overcome, and those characteristics and traits are what I want to bring into the Sheriff's Department. I want to come with compassion, integrity, professionalism, and most importantly, accountability. You know, that's, that's you know, what I was saying. One of the, the issues is everyone's pointing the finger, you know, uh, saying, oh, well, it's not my fault. And, you know, or they did that. It, this is a city. This is a, this is a community. It's not about pointing fingers. It's not about any, but it's about accepting the accountability for your part in it, what your role is. What is the election? And is it too late to register to vote? Absolutely not. November 5th. Okay. Yes. And uh, so. why is it important that they vote for you? Why did you choose public service? Because of my passion for helping people. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I feel I, I, I treat my city like my family. You know, I, when I'm driving around the city, you know, there was a, this one particular day I just had to pull over to the side of the road and cry. That's all I could do. I just pulled over and I cried because I was just looking around and there was so much that I, so many ideas I have, so many changes I want to make. And I, and I just remember, I started praying and I was just like, God, please help me. Help me be a beacon of light for this community. I said, God, you know I can't do it alone. I need you, but help me, please. I understand Vernon Betts, the current sheriff, yes. is, is endorsing you, who is also a preacher. You know, he's a reverend, Reverend Vernon Betts. So he's endorsing you. Oh, yes, absolutely. Tell, tell us about that, that support. Well, uh, it's very, very interesting because uh, I had contacted him after losing, uh, after the primary. And, uh, you know, I, I just contacted him to say, you know, Sheriff Betts, I'm Sorry that you lost the, the primary, but, uh, you know, as you know, I'm still running and um, I, I really feel that I can make uh, the changes in the city uh, that's needed. I said, you know, I, I know that I was running against you, but, you know, I wasn't necessarily against you as an individual, sure. you know, but I, you know, and um, he, uh, and this is a, you know, I le left this message to him. And he didn't call me back for several, for several weeks. But it was very interesting because uh, the night before he called me, I was uh, speaking to a friend of mine, uh, she's one of my prayer warriors, and we were praying. And um, one of my favorite scriptures is Romans 8.28. And Which so I kind of kept reciting it over and over and Recite over. for us now. And we know that all things... And I emphasize all, all things. things work for the good of those who love God and who are according to and who are called according to his purpose. Okay. And, you know, as you know, as in, in, you know, just she had, you know, we just her and I both just reciting it over and over. And so when, when he called, uh, you know, he said, you know, he calls me Daphne. It's his nickname for me. He's like, you know, I, I, I wasn't going to call you, but, uh. I was, I was sitting here and I was praying. And he said, the Holy Spirit told me to call you. And I just, I mean, I got chills, you know, through my body. And I, you know, I, I began tearing up and I'm just like, God, 
but God, you know. And uh, he said, uh, he, he recited Romans 8, 28. Now, I had never, I had never spoken to this man. And, and, you know, and for him to recite the very scripture that I had continued to recite myself all, you know, all night and it being one of my favorite scriptures, I knew at that moment that um, this, this is his will. Now, I may not be elected. And you may be elected. And, and I may be. But what God has for me, it is for me and it will be for me. So if I am not elected, then that means that he has something else for me and there is something else that I'm supposed to do. And, and, and so I feel even if I lose, I'm still winning because I have God. There is no such thing as defeat. Well, George Denise Samney, uh, you were the uh, candidate for the sheriff for the city of St. Louis, and uh, we'll be right back after this. New Life Evangelistic Center wants you to join us for our events. We have a variety of different kinds of events that happen throughout the year here at New Life Evangelistic Center, and you're invited to all of them. We have special faith promise and fundraising dinners that we definitely want you to be a part of. Here you'll learn more about our staff, you'll learn more about all the different things that are going on at New Life, and you'll also be inspired by what God is doing by building His kingdom through this incredible ministry. You don't want to miss these dinners. We also have special fundraising events like a walkathon, and we have another event where we will spend a night out with the homeless. This is a very special event, and we don't want you to miss it. We also have unique events where we serve homeless men and women and equip them with the things that they need to survive. These events happen throughout the year, and especially during Christmas or Thanksgiving. So you can learn more about our events by going to nlecstl.org forward slash events. Or you can uh, call us at 314-421-3020 to learn about our closest event. Today's subject, Gladys West, a hidden figure in the development of GPS technology, has officially been honored for her work. Mathematician Dr. Gladys West was recognized for doing the computing responsible for creating the geographical positioning system, more commonly referred to as the GPS. The 87-year-old woman was introduced, inducted that is, into the Air Force Space and Missile Pioneer Hall of Fame by the United States Air Force during a ceremony at the Pentagon. Dr. West spent 42 years working on the naval base at Dahlgren, Virginia, and during that time she was one of a few women hired by the military to do advanced technological work. During the early 1960s, she was commissioned by the U.S. Naval Weapons Laboratory to support research around Pluto's motion. And from the mid-70s to the mid-80s, her computing work on Earth, the Earth model, led to what became the first GPS orbit. Gladys West, our subject for today. You see, faith is an action word. You and I see that in James chapter 2, 14 through 19, where it says, What good is it, my brothers and sisters, if someone claims to have faith but has no deeds? Can such faith save them? Suppose a brother or sister is without clothes and daily food. If one of you says to them, go in peace, keep warm and well fed, but does nothing about their physical needs, what good is it? In the same way, faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by action, is dead. But someone will say, you have faith, I have deeds. Show me your faith without deeds, and I'll show you my faith by my deeds. You believe there's one God, good. Even the demons believe that and shudder. 31.8 tells us to do this. Speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves. For the rights of all who are destitute, speak up and... Judge fairly, defend the rights of the poor and needy, so we have to do that. The fact is, is that you and I, if we claim we have faith, we're going to want to do something with that faith, and that is help the poor, the fatherless, the widowed, the hurting, the homeless. And welcome back. We're talking to Joy Denise Damney for Sheriff of St. Louis. We have a poster there. It says, Tuesday, November the 5th, accountability, transparency, leadership. Did you come up with those terms? Yes, sir. Okay, tell us about why and how. <laughs> They're uh, very important traits. As I, as I said, you know, integrity, I am a woman of my word, and I, I always have been, and, that, and that's just that's what I stand on, you know. Mm -hmm. um, 
I learned that from my grandfather. You know, he, okay. he always said, he said, if he says he's going to do something, you better rest assured it's going to be done. Okay. And, uh, you know, and I, and I don't believe in making promises that I can't keep. And I'm absolutely not going to do that to my community. So when is the, the election name? And why is it important that people vote for you? The election is on uh, Tuesday, November 5th. Mm -hmm. And um, again, I, in my transparency, integrity, professionalism, and accountability. You know, I, 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 I really don't want to be negative uh, against my opponent, but you know, um, there are several things that he's not being honest about, such as his college degree is unverifiable, and he was um, a probationary deputy and uh, terminated. And I don't think that it's appropriate to um, place someone um, with those negative characteristics uh, into a place of power. Uh, that, is a, that is a lot of power uh, to have to someone who is going to um, negatively use it. Okay. So your vision for the office of sheriff is what? Community resource programs, it's so important. We have to start focusing on the needs of the community. Um, the e eviction process, you know, I feel that I would like to implement a pre-eviction process um, that allows the community to reach out and obtain assistance and resources uh, before being evicted. You know, we, we, have to, we have to find a, the source of the issues, mm -hmm. you know. So, you know, evictions would lead to homelessness. Then homelessness can lead to substance abuse. Then substance abuse can lead to crime and mental health issues. It's, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's all a line. Mm -hmm. Once again, tell us about your faith. <laughs> God is just carrying me through this. You know, I, I absolutely could not have come this far without him. I give all glory to God. You know, um, with everything that I do, everything God first, you know, even with my, my posts and um, my flyers and everything, you know, I, I, God is truly amazing. And tell us about your beautiful family. I am a mother of five and a grandmother of three. <laughs> Every time I say that out loud. <laughs> but, um, you know, uh, again, I'm, here I go being transparent. Um, I, I don't have a close relationship with my older children right now. Mm -hmm. I don't. And um, I'm praying that God will, will work that out. Uh, I have two younger children as well, a uh, three and seven year old. And uh, I am a, I'm a, a single mother, um, and I just uh, I, I love I love my children. I love all of my children. How can we reach you? Three one four three seven nine seven eight eight seven. Please call me directly, day or night, if you have any questions or concerns. I want to be able to answer all of your questions. I, I, I would love to hear the ideas that you have, what you all want to see, the changes you want to see in the Sheriff's Department and, and within the community. And you have a website? Uh, you can go to lpmo.org and uh, scroll down. Uh, I am at the bottom of the candidates page. Okay, so that's November the 5th. Vote for Joy Denise Stabney. Is that the way it's going to be on the ballot? Yes, sir. For Sheriff. My, my full name. Thank you so much for being with us. Yes, and, uh, good Thank luck you to so you, Thank you so much. It was, it's an yeah. honor. It's been a pleasure. Thank You're very you. kind. Have a great day. Thank you, too. And each of you, thank you for allowing us to in your home today. I'm Bernie Hayes, and please support the new life, the Evangelistic Center. Have a good day.